Oh my god. Hi. Hello. It's, it's Rufio. It's Rufio. I'm back from the future to tell you what we covered today in stream. So this VOD contains a bunch of coding challenges. We did them on Code Wars from CodeTrack.dev. You can find all the links to everything we did in the description below. We got rated by Study Time and Adam Elmore. Their Twitches will also be linked below. And we did some hand exercises and, you know, talked about art and shit as we are wont to do. I hope you enjoy the VOD. Let me know if there's ever anything I can cover and stream that would help you. And again, have fun. Bye. Okay, let me know if the music's too loud. I always, I like swear I always figure things out. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so smart. Like today I would have been muted, but I was smart and I didn't, and I checked first. Um, but then like the music might just be totally too loud. So that's good. <laughs> oh. It's like accidentally turned off my monitors. Hello, baby, monitor baby. Music was okay level, then disappeared when I started talking. I turned it down. I can turn it up though. Okay, I was trying to tilt my screen up. Every time I do that, I swear my like HDMI or VGA or whatever connection is not very good because I'll like move it and it's like, ah, you know. <laughs> um <coughs> happy happy morning afternoon evening night whatever it is for you we are streaming just a little bit earlier today because i know that a bunch of people in the not america time zones never get to see this stream live because i'm always going in my afternoon which is their night or middle of their night so we're doing my morning and hopefully, hopefully it's more accessible to people. Okay, wait a second. My lips are cracked. Also, hi everyone. Hi. Okay. And Grat, yes, I did. I did add that redemption. Or non humans, no judgment. I'm pretty good. I drew a lot yesterday. I was doing some of the custom cards, and at the end of it, my hand kind of started hurting, and I was like, oh, you know, like everything is fine. Like, it's fine. I'll just eventually stop drawing, just push past the pain a little bit. Guess who woke up with a fucked up hand today? Yeah, so it's like right here is really hurt and then down into my arm. <laughs> uh, listen to your body. So I like tried to put like a hot bag on it. And uh, yeah. so if, if I ever am just like coding and then and I'm like, ow, that's probably what it is. <laughs> yeah, White Storm. This is an earlier stream for those in Europe and like India and Asia. Hopefully so they can actually watch it live out right here too Ugh, i'm just gonna massage my hand while i'm talking anyway i was like i don't know what to do today uh, before we get started can you get the github backfill script sure i made a really short short video about that but let me just type it in really quick so uh uh, you can put in whatever date you want. I just put in the first one I thought of. I think that is right. Yeah, no worries. Okay, so, um, also before we get started... Y'all, if you ever see anything, you're like, oh my goodness, that would be a good thing for people to be able to see instead of watching like five hours of just pure Rufio. Or like, wow, that's a funny thing. Like, clip me, and then and then maybe I'll be able to post it or something and make this content more accessible. Because I'm going to try and do that, but also I'm too lazy to like go through my VODs and do it. So if you ever see anything, you're like, yes. And you know how to clip, which actually I don't on Twitch. Um... 
please. Please do it. I think Dakota. I should I should try that out. So that commit makes it backdate so we can get those delicious squares? Yes, exactly. So you can get all those green squares. I did say I was streaming earlier, yes. Yeah, all of my... Oh, you know what? I didn't even put it on Discord. My Okay, wait a second. Let me put it on the Discord for 100 devs. It's, it's because it's so early in the morning. That's why I didn't put it on Discord. Ah! <laughs> Wait a second. I normally am, like, I wake up at this particular time. I'm not awake before this, so I got up before it. I always, whenever I have something in the morning, I always wake up earlier because I'm, like, panicked. I'm like, did I wake up in time? You know. Wait a second. Um, hey, all. We're streaming earlier today. Oh, yeah, let me see if I made any typos, because I always do it. Okay. I can scroll. I'm competent. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I put it in the 100 devs. Okay. You lost your 70-day day streak because weird GitHub dating. Yeah, hopefully that fixes it for you. I'm glad, Irvin. I'm glad that's that was the hope that some some people would be able to watch that couldn't normally watch. Um, I can't go as long just because I have therapy in a couple hours, but I figured I could still try. I wasn't gonna wake up earlier than I did though. Um, so yeah, I was like, I don't know what to do today in stream. <laughs> And so I was like, well, why don't we just do an oldie but a goodie coding challenges? Now, a couple weeks ago, I talked to someone on LinkedIn and they were like, yo, I made this website. You should try using a stream. And I was like, well, it is coding challenges. So sure, I guess. So we're going to check that out. I am massaging my hand with my other hand. And now this hand is getting hurting. I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> what if I, I don't, I don't know. What if I like, <laughs> don't overdraw. Why is this a problem? Why did it, how is this a problem? <laughs> it's fine. Everything is fine. Hi. Hi, Hazel. What's up? Again, let me know if the music's too loud, though. Grat said it was pretty quiet. Okay, well, you know, what if we just deal with the pain? Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's try this, this sight thing. There's music. Can you not hear it at all? Okay. You know what? You should be able to hear it. What about... No. Rubio says, let me know if the music's too loud. No one can hear the music. You still can't hear the music? Really? Oh, Rubio's so early. Such a wow. I can keep turning it up. I don't like it being super loud. I like it to be like faintly in the background, but I never know how loud that is. Should we do the hand exercise on stream, y'all? Some people it's good, for some people they can't even hear it. All right, let's let's try doing the hand exercise. I wonder if they'll, we'll, we'll see how it works out for my hand. <laughs> Again, don't overdraw. Listen to your hand. 
listen to your hand when it's screaming at you listen to your hand um i can't think of another good line so i'm just gonna stop there okay do 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 Okay, so I have a lot of space here because I was on top of everything today. I've used this once Hi, before, but it was only once. Let's talk about this new phenomenon, <clears throat> hand injuries in gamers. gamers. It's very quiet. Esport players, you're in for a lot of great information right now. I want to share with you exercise that will help you improve and increase your action per minute. Increase the efficiency at which you play, yes. increase your speed, yes, yes. but more importantly, allow you to have an extended career as a professional gamer or as an amateur gamer. Gaming want... is great for everybody. Where does Let's he talk do it? about several things that you should do. These are my top seven tips for gamers. Should Number we watch one, all those seven tips? I recommend you take a five minute break every 60 minutes. Many of you play, of course, sometimes four to 12 hours a day. Think about it. That's a lot of time of flexion, okay, extension, but, or but action per minute. I mean, that's really while nice. Warm, wait, listen, wait. I wait. recommend these actually. And while you're in the put your hand warm, under warm water. Press it twice a period of five minutes to just put your hands under warm water. I Let your hands water. run under warm water gently. And while you're in the warm water in the basin, just move your fingers up and down. All right. Number three, I recommend these exercises. Take a look. Make a full fist. Open your hand wide, a tabletop. This is called a claw fist. This is a half fist. This is a full fist. So take a look again. Open your hand wide, make a full fist, tabletop fist, claw fist, half fist, and a full fist. After you do that, I recommend the following. Tip number four. Stretch your fingers out. Take your thumb. Stretch your thumb back. Stretch each finger back. Each one. Bring them back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Then do block the exercise, especially for your thumb. Because your thumb, of all the digits on your hand, the thumb gets worked a lot for, by gamers. So, blocking exercises for your thumb. Back. Forward. Back. Forward. Across. Piano. Oh, this First is really piano, painful. full fist, open fist. Hands wide, open, <laughs> close, open, close. Stretch, stretch your arm out, wrist down, <laughs> wrist up, around the world, Ow. around the world, elbow in, elbow out. The fifth tip that I recommend is actually just to take time to yeah, I know shake my out your hands. Elbow hybrid shake stands. Out your just for about one minute. One minute every two to three hours. Just take a minute. <laughs> You're so loud. Out. Shake them out. Shake your wrist out. Tip number six, I'll show this to you. Shake out your wrist like you're trying to catch someone's attention. This will help and you... with respect to any type of development of lateral condylitis or tennis elbow. So you have your arm straight out, elbow straight. Bring your hand straight up as if you're do this with the, the hand wall. or whatever. You want to do it two different ways. Take your other hand and bring your fingers back. Extend your fingers back with your elbow straight. Then hold your hand and bring your hand back with your elbow. I can't straight. do my <laughs> hold straight each elbow of these when for I'm doing this. Thirty seconds. Then flex your hand down and gently bring your wrist down. Again, we're stretching Does out anyone know muscles and shit arm. and knows this muscle? the extensor caught by radialis longus, the extensor caught by radialis brevis. For gamers, this is very important. These are called inertial exercises, and I recommend that Ow. you do these again every day. Holding up my hand hurts, or my arm hurts. This is very, very important. Specifically, when you're gaming for extended periods of time, for four to eight hours, if you really want to increase your action per minute, your efficiency and your speed, and hopefully your winning, you want to do these exercises. Very important. Tip number oh, seven. Some more. It's important that you massage Brachialis, your, really? your fingers and your wrist. Just use the other hand, especially the thumb. The thumb is very powerful. And the thumb is 42% of all functional motion of your hand. So you really want to have healthy thumbs, especially for gaming. 
really for life. Hell so just time. massage your hand. Yes, I need to joint. massage this muscle. And just take this for about just a minute on each hand. And then just make a fist. Shake out your wrist around the world, back around the world. <laughs> full fist, open fist, table again, half fist, full fist. Repeat those exercises. As a gamer, as a game Thanks, lover, Dr. Levi. You if you truly want to so eat, nice. Okay, wait a second. We're going to do this like hand massage shit. Right here and right here. Hazel, ah, <laughs> ow, surprise pain. Um, Hazel is mm, super psyched for the early stream, waiting to see if you get an offer. Oh my god, Hazel, fucking, con well, even if you don't get the offer, fucking congrats. It's amazing that you're, you're like, even possibly going to get one. Ow, right there, ow. <laughs> Pin the pain. Face the pain. Is this what you came for this morning? Rufio just like trying to fix the hand she fucked up. What if I put it on the table? Because my other thumb is getting really tired. Your thumb is 42% the function of the function of your hand. Um Cut up new and brilliant. And that's probably why we are so ah, dis ow, distinguished from monkeys. Ow. <laughs> if I do that, maybe that. If only we could, wait, cut off our thumbs. <laughs> okay, so today we were gonna, we, we are going to do some coding challenges, like I said. <laughs> Every finger's a thumb. Can you, how would the hand look? I don't think we could have as many fingers, honestly. That'd be interesting. A uh, hand full of thumbs kind of like spy kids you know the thumb people or whatever uh, the stream's gonna turn into an hour shaking your hands at the camera isn't that what you came for didn't you want to watch someone just shake their hands and massage their hands that is clearly so much fun no i do apologize i'm sorry that i'm doing this it's because i was drawing uh Grat, I was drawing your drawing. That's what did this to my hands. It's not what Hazel came for. I apologize. The ten thumbed person, Stumpy. Okay. The cats have five toes on the front paws, but only four on their back. Oh, interesting. I can't say that I really looked at cat feet, um, but that is interesting. Okay, wait a second. Let me turn down the music and turn it back on, probably. Sorry, Jim. My, I'm in zero pain. What? <laughs> okay. All right. So, like I said, this person made this site, and I'm always down to support other developers. So, let's support other developers. So the idea, I think, was of this site was to track your progress and consistency or something. So you're still using code words, but then it this updates your total points or something. Points. Anyway, y'all have an account with code words, right? 
I don't know if I should be showing my webhook on camera. Should I be showing my webhook on camera? Code Wars. Oh yeah, you know, Jordan? Cool. The thimble industry would collapse. You know the thimble industry, critical to our modern infrastructure. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna pull this off screen just in case I show something that's like sensitive, but mostly also so, oh my god, it's so small, so you can see this. Can you see it? Um, so we have to go to my account. And then we go to the webhook section. Mm-hmm. Oh, and copy this. Oh, so it would have been fine for you to see it. Okay, well, look. There it is. Oh. Okay. Let me copy. Copy. Do, do, do. Secret, secret. It looks like we don't, need, we don't need a secret. We updated our account. Cool story, Hansel. And then... And then we make an account. Also, this is normally why I just force everything to be dark on my computer just because I, I can't do white anymore on the screen. I just can't do it. No, you know what? Rufio. 3.dev. And then... Hold up. Mm-mm. Okay. Cool story. Oh. Oh. What is my Code Wars username? Oh, it's just Hello's Review. <laughs> Duh. Thank you. My cl class? That probably would be a hundred devs, but... There we go. And I know this person hangs out here sometimes, and there, there are a lot of hundred devs here, I think. So you can see everyone. This is my last name. And I know Deja is also in 100 devs. So what would we do to start with this? How to use? Oh, we literally looked at this page. Thank you. Profile? It's me. Oh, here are the coding challenges. You like it, Janae? That's great. Light mode is blinding after years of dark mode. True. Ruth Reed like a superhero. <laughs> Good morning, Perishable. Long time no see. How have you been? Okay, so I don't ever I don't I don't even know what grasshopper is. Should we do it? I probably can close my other code wars window. Zoom in. Interesting. I've not done this one, so let's do it, eh? Exhausted? Why are you exhausted? Sorry to hear that. Okay. Pop my back. Good morning, Milk. Alright, so if you want the this, you can get it if you make an account on that one thing, my digger, the code track. I can say words. Wait a second. Hey, Zero, thanks for the follow. Um, or you, there it is as well. Here it is as well, I should say. So, what I like to do is I like to not even do it here. I'm just going to take that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Here I go. Do, 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 do. See, that's the thing about Windows 11. Look, I can put this right over the bar, the task bar. Anyway, it's fine. Whatever. We also need to see what I, day I need to push this to. <laughs> cheating is fun. It's not really cheating, though. Who, who, who makes the rules? Okay, so we could do... 
I haven't done the last four days, it looks like, so I could do August 20th. And I'm doing August 20th for a special reason that you will see very quickly. Um, so we want to, oh, sorry. VS code. CC2022-8. Did, what day did I say? The 20th? I think so. Exactly, Lark. Isn't that how the song goes? These rules are made for breaking. And that's just what I'll do. Okay, great. I'm glad I remembered. Okay, so we're going to take everything. We're going to comment it out. Um, and you see we've got that. Oh my god, thank you. Amazing. So then we're going to we're gonna push it. Because we got to get those green squares. Get status. We can see I haven't pushed this one or those. I, that's probably something I should address. But I haven't, so that's cool. Eight. Wait a second. Wait a second. So we're going to say get add CC 2022 820. Close quotation marks. Hey, intelligence. What's up? Were those boots for walking? What? We do this again. We'll see that it is staged. It is ready to get staged. And then we say get commit dash dash date equals 2022. 0820 close quotation marks dash m for the message and then we say add preliminary unsolved coding challenge for 820 nice enter we see it's going to work so then we're just going to say get push code wars haven't touched in months I am not very consistent I'll be honest with you but but I was like, we could do leak code, but we don't have five hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. Um, if we do this again, it should be right here, right? Boom, baby. Oh, JK, it should be right here. I guess I didn't. No, 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 no. I was supposed to push it to the 19th. <gasps> it's okay. Hey, Phil, thanks for follow. Because we can fix this. We can say git commit. Um, dash dash amend dash dash date equals 2022-0819, close quotation marks. And then it's like, ah, vim hell. And so you just do escape, colon, WQ, enter. And then you can see that we changed the date now. And then we can just say git push. Well, <sighs> damn it, I hate it when this happens. Git pull. This is gonna give us some grief, maybe, probably. Get push. No, great, nice. Let's see. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Well, that didn't work. I swear it worked, it said it worked. Oh, there we go, and it kept this one, so that's cool. Look at all those contributions. Yeah, I was so consistent, didn't back push most of these or how our back commit whatever it is currently done with your data structures and algorithms grinding so not plan to look at any more for at least a week makes sense <laughs> data structures and algorithms that's all i have to say about that hmm anyway let's do the coding challenge and then they give us the oh all right mistakes are made there we go so we're gonna do that that they have here and let's work through this this hey kibuka thanks for follow this function should test if the factor is a factor of base what does that mean what is a factor of base also why is there so many spaces here So we're doing prep, so parameters. WTF is a factor of base. Ah, Hazel says it evenly divides. Evenly divides. So basically no remainder. If you look not at uh, data structures and algorithms for three days or more, you're going to forget everything. No, don't say that to me. I refuse to look at it every day. No. Two and threes are factors of six.
a relief laugh. I don't do it enough to like change it, but that is good to know. Well, I mean, Roberto, I'm just trying to figure out what this is saying to me. So that's what, that's what's up. <laughs> Unless we're not talking about this coding challenge. So <laughs> evenly divides without a remainder, probably. And then we can see what else it says. It says, do, do, do. Test if the factor is a factor of base. So, isn't there a different way to say this? Isn't it, there's like, come on, fourth grade or sixth grade or something, elementary school, primary school. Uh, greatest common denominator. It's not that one, right? It's the uh, least. Some multiple something something. You can find a factor by dividing numbers. So trying to find if a factor is a factor of base. There's a different way to say this and I can't remember what it is. So if anyone remembers, please let me know. Hey Alex. So early in the morning, hi. What's up? How have you been? Okay. Oh. Factors are numbers you can multiply together to get, I don't feel like this is written very well, but that's fine. To get another number. There's a different way to say this, I swear to God. Hanging, writing some Laravel for work, and thought you'd pop up and see what's up. We're doing coding challenges. It's always nice to see you. Um, I think I still have a command with your name. There, y'all. Alex, we, we streamed a week ago with Alex. I don't know why it has a star. That's interesting. Anyway, um, we streamed a week ago with Alex. Check out their stream. And it's nice to have you here, Alex. Um... So evenly divides, trying to find if a factor is a factor of a base. Factors are numbers you can multiply together to get another number. If the remainder is zero, then the number is a factor. So yes, that what I said made sense. You can use mod to check for a remainder. Can use mod to check for remainder. Mm -mm. Um, uh, two is not a factor of seven because seven mod two equals one. Base is a non-negative number. They literally tell you exactly how to solve this one. Hey, I'm working through it. I was never particularly good at math, I'll be honest with you, but I do see that we're still gonna do it. Hey, hey Michael, it's okay. If I don't do it in one line, no judgment here. It's also like really early in the morning for me. It's 9.35, so give me some grace. <laughs> math is hard. I didn't really get math until uh, college when I had good teachers for the first time. So that's cool. Base is non-negative. Factor is positive. All right, so it needs to return yes, or like true, yeah, true or false. Should return true if x is a factor of y. And then let's do some examples. I think they gave it to us, but we're gonna say console.log check for factor. And then we're gonna say two, three probably, and it's gonna be false. I think, false. Oh, thank you, thank you, Zappa. Um, this probably makes sense, probably. And then we could do three and nine, and that would be true. And what if we got one that was just I wonder, can it ever be an empty string? Or not. Can it ever be empty? 
can it ever be empty? In that case, if we did... I probably can't. You need to check if factor is here. Isn't that what is... Like, I'm setting up these uh, test cases, right? Right? Undefined. So if, if it was just like this, it would just be undefined. Is that what we're saying? Noise. Alright. Now, let's pseudocode this bitch. So, we can say, first, make a function that takes in a base and a factor. Oh my god, they did it for us. So nice. Hey, knowledgeable, what's up? Good morning slash afternoon slash evening to you. Good day. Good. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we want to say. Does. Does. Factor. Mo oh, okay. I just hit my head. It's fine. Does base. No. Does factor mod base equal zero if yes return true if no return false right it's backwards huh <laughs> is it oh yeah i think it, you're right it totally is backwards okay <laughs> Y'all are great. All right. Well, so have to check whether base mod factor is zero. If yes, return true. If no, return false. And so we could say return. And then we could say base. You do spaces. I'm not sure. Factor equals zero. And I don't know if it's two or three. You know. I don't know where we do the return. Right? Maybe. Maybe. But who's stopping us? Hmm? Yo, that. Hmm. Interesting. Technically, it would be false. I don't want to, like, I feel like this worked pretty well. I don't want to, like, write. Oh, also, undefined, you know? You much prefer the ads to take up some space in the bottom stream and then take up 30 seconds. I'm sorry if you got ads. We used to get them a lot more, and then I tried to turn them off. So I'm sorry that it still is a thing. We really didn't leave space for undefined. If it's like nothing, then it is by default. False, right? Oh, really, Hazel? Hey, born. I am doing coding challenges and it's early in the day because I'm trying to have a live stream for those who can't only make it to the live streams. You need to check the base and factor if they are not undefined. Hmm. I challenge you to get more sleep. I got a decent amount of sleep. I forced myself to go to sleep early last night-ish. Relatively. Actually, the solution is nearly identical to yours. You don't know how it's wrong. It's not wrong, I would say. It was just one of my test cases and we put undefined. If it's empty, it's undefined. So. I'm sorry to hear that, Born. How's your dad doing? Mm, so we could say...
Well, you should try and get some sleep, born. If factor is undefined or I don't know if it's the two or the three. I just really should learn that again and I just can never remember. Undefined. But if I'm doing it wrong, I'm sure y'all will tell me. We could say return undefined else So you're saying we could just do this instead of writing all of this? I'm thinking no, actually. I dare. I do believe I fucked up. Your dad believes he's a president? Woof. Woof. Oh yeah, return it. Thank you. Ah, oh, great! Is this JavaScript? Yes. Though, if we wanted to make it TypeScript, it wouldn't be difficult. We could say... This should return a boolean, I think, right? Like that? All y'all who know TypeScript, check me on this. Factor number. I don't think this is in um, TypeScript, so it's like... Ah! <laughs> Base number. Uh, that's TypeScript born, or I was trying to make it TypeScript, that is. Your return type would be Boolean or undefined. Are we talking about up here? Oops. Undefined. Hmm, that makes sense, Alex. That's why it's being like, oh. But once I define factor and base, I don't have to do it down here, right? We just TypeScript that shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Does... Oh, oops. Does... Um... Hello? Does this one do TypeScript? T T oh it does. Oh wow. Interesting. Base factor number. What if we do this? Well I didn't do it up there, so that's I did it down here, but that makes sense. So we say base number here. Factor number there. Number there. How come at the end of their function, they didn't put uh, the boolean or undefined? And what's the window to the right? What do you mean this? In Code Wars? Not sure why I want to check if it's undefined when... You can specify the type on the arguments. Uh, oh, you know, it's, so you're saying because because it is TypeScript, we wouldn't need to do undefined. Is that what we're saying? Because we already ensured the type and the type is not undefined. That's what I hear, Lark, but I figured I could keep doing it. Oh, because, because maybe I, I don't know. I'm pretty new to TypeScript. So, we're all saying that we hate this, right? 
<laughs> like that. Do we have to do the export function? Export. Wow. Wow. Woo, Adam. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you for the raid. That's wild. I don't think we've met you before. What were y'all up to today? How was stream? Do I follow Leon's current class now and then? Not really. Sort of, but also not really. Probably won't even need the, the ternary. Hmm. So, folks who came in with Adam, we are doing, uh, what are they called? Coding challenges on Code Wars. And this one's an 8Q, so it's pretty easy. But we're also trying to do it in TypeScript, which is pretty new to me. And we're discussing whether this this ternary needs to be a thing. And we're saying it just, it absolutely just does not. This just keeps getting shorter and shorter, which is nice. It's good. This is 9Q. Bye, Adam. Thanks again for the raid. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day, afternoon, evening, whatever it is for you. Oh my god. I'm <laughs> amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's okay if this is not something you would normally use TypeScript for. I think I need the practice. It's okay. Pas de problème. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here, actually. Oops, that was three. Well, that didn't do, like, literally anything, so that's cool. What if we just do this? TypeScript for everything. The higher the Q, the easier it is. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> change my twitter name yeah because i don't know like everywhere in like tech i go by rufio and i was like you know what i feel like this makes sense you're doing a 4q all right be flexing out on us no that's good i'm happy for you what theme am i using monokai oh i get you oh i get you so um Exactly, Born. That's why I changed my, my name on Twitter to Rufio. So we're just going to go explain this. Initially, we've made this in JavaScript because that's what I know. Um, it wasn't too hard to do. I figured we should do a ternary because I didn't realize that the first part would already return a boolean we also tried to put in undefined but i guess we didn't need to especially when we got to typescript hey attention thank you for the follow i appreciate it Okay, so we've got that, and now we're going to do the thing where <laughs> we backdate and, and get more green squares. So we're going to say get status again, and then we're going to say get add, and it's up here. You can see it. So we're just going to say the CC2022820, and then we're going to say get commit and we say dash dash date equals 2022-0820 and then we're going to put our message and say add first coding challenge solution and comments hey xenomorph what's up and we can see it's on the 20-ish 20-ish get push it's because i was looking at the word push okay and then if we look here, it should maybe be slightly darker. Probably not actually, but that's okay. But it does say two now, so. 
You're night owl, so you're happy to start your day with my stream. What time is it for you, Xenomorph? Okay, so now we can add our TypeScript solution, and it's going to scream at us because this is a JavaScript thing, but that's okay. Uncomment it. And we're going to say, second uh, solution, make it TypeScript. And it's, it's screaming at us because it's like, bitch, I'm not TypeScript. And we know that, and it's okay. It's all right. And then let's add some comments and we say, so we see here that we specified what the function, sh or what type the function should return. We, that, that allowed us to address any undefined input you woke up an hour ago is it 11 51 p.m for you or a.m um i lost my train of thought then we were also able to ensure the type on the base and factor PM. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you can hang out with this. Um, number. On here's not crazy that Bandy re redesigned the website for. You emailed their manager last night and showed them the Netlify mockup, and they want it. That's wild. Congrats, Born. It was a cool ass website. So that's awesome. Oh, it's AM. Oh, I get you. I'm happy to have you here either way. Freaking congrats, Born. That's that's so great. I'm happy for you. And then you can be like, you know, you can put that on your portfolio. And be like, yeah, you know, this band's website. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> um. Then we can also say because people on stream told me that line 33 will already return a boolean, we didn't put any sort of ternary shit on it. Offer it for free? I mean, that's that's your choice. Uh, I think you can light the band and also get money, because shouldn't they have money if they're touring and whatnot? Get status. Get add. CC 2022 0821 Oh wait, JK. Two's okay. Wow, I did just open Windows Media Player. I need to reprogram my hotkeys, and I got a thing from my brother that let me do that, but also I forgot how... I No, I've been too lazy to actually do it, so there's that. Um, but it would be nice to have that button, click it, and then be Spotify. Using Windows Media Player? Oh, yes, I'm totally choosing... Yeah, that's not just a fast hotkey on my whatever it's called on my keyboard you want free concert tickets backstage access and to ultimately be brought on to handle their merch manufacturing mm. well let us know what it ends up being how did you find their manager or agent or whatever all right we were doing this i got distracted so we were adding it. It should be... Oh. oh, you know what? I put an extra zero. Wait a second. There we go. Then we can say git commit dash 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 date equals 2022-08-21 close quotation marks dash m add TypeScript solution to coding challenge from 8... 20 coding challenge. Now we can see it's for that day, so we push it. Et voila! I don't know what I pushed today. Well, apparently, I accidentally pushed a coding challenge today. Good for me. <laughs> Good. And we've taken an hour and done one. 
great. Happy for us. So we were using this thing. What does it recognize that we did the thing? Hello? Oh yeah, it did. Cool. Another! These are all eights. Because... Why not? What does it mean with grasshopper? Does anyone know? We could do intermediate, I guess. Yeah, it does. Born showed on a stream earlier, like last stream, I think. It's great. Go to Algo. I guess we could, but like, didn't Hazel? Hey, so didn't you say you didn't want to see any data structures and algorithms for like forever? I can do that, homeless. I've done it before, uh, but I guess we can do it again. So this is their normal one. Oh no, no. It, we had this problem last time. It's because it has that afterwards, I think. Yeah, so it looks like this. Honestly, I don't think this looks terrible, but like I can see what you're saying. It's not great. Um, and then the one that Born made was this one. Which is like way cooler. TBH, of course. Born's just very talented at front end programming so there you see it it's a lot better eh, voila oh I see I see it at the bottom here yeah you don't want to do them you want to watch other people suffer thank you thank you Grasshopper means learner. Oh, you know, I always thought it was like a type of like a style of problem. I don't know. Okay. <sighs> factorials. Okay, you know factorials I actually was memorizing like six months ago. So hopefully this is something that will work out for me. So there you go. Et voila. And then let's see what else I need to make green. We could do... What if we do like July 8th and 9th? So we can say... Do, do, do. Um, new folder, CC 2022. 20, Seven, nine. Oh, we totally made it already. I'm, yep, thank you. What were we trying to do for that day? Rovia, of course. I'm predictable for myself, I guess. An array of numbers. Huh. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna just do this. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. Hey, Danny. Thank you for the follow. Alright. I swear I didn't copy it, I guess. No, we didn't even start it. Train. I'm really interested to see if I can remember this. Remember, don't tell me the answer until I ask. Um... I may remember it. I probably won't because that wouldn't be a surprise, but let's fuck around and find out. How am I going today? Um, for another hour and a half, roughly. And then I have therapy. I have to go drive to therapy. Okay, in mathematics, the factorial of integer n is written as n, no, n exclamation point, n bang. It is equal to the product of n in every integer preceding it. For example, five bang, five, five, 
however you want to say it, <laughs> is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 equals 120. Your mission is simple. Write a function that takes an integer n and returns n. <laughs> n Victoria. Good afternoon, interplanet. You're guaranteed an integer argument. That is good to know. Okay, we're saying this. Prep this shit. Won't ever be empty. Guaranteed an integer argument. If there are any non positive values, return a null. Zero, zero exclamation point, zero bang. How, what should we say? Should I say zero or should I say zero bang or should I say zero exclamation point? Or zero factorial? Is that what you say? You probably say zero factorial. Okay. Is always equal to one. Negative is no, baby. Okay. And then we want to say need to write a function to write a function that takes a number and returns it as a factorial. Hey, Sham, thanks for the follow. And then um yep i think that's all we need for that so it should return whatever and factorial equals i think if you do say factorial i'm thinking yes so if we do some examples how do they have a function factorial n We ain't done yet. No, this is what we're doing the whole time today, Born. That is what that is what today's stream is. Okay, so we have a fact a function that takes in n. <sighs> Let's think about this. Okay, Rufio, I've literally done this like five times, and I guess I need to stretch because this feels so good. <laughs> Thanks, Xenomorph. I appreciate it. Let's party with parrots. Let's party with functions. <laughs> oh my god, I sound like a like a math teacher. What does this world come to? My god. I literally code for fun. Isn't that wild? Like we stream coding. <laughs> this is fun because I'm with you guys and it's great. Planning to do it iteratively or recursively. You know what? I hadn't gotten that far yet. I got distracted. So, let me just think about this for a second. So, we want to probably initially... Okay. Wow. All right, Scani. All right, y'all. I'm not, I'm not looking at you at all. Okay. Because I got to focus for five minutes starting now. So, okay. Okay. So, I'm thinking we'll do this iteratively just because that's what I can think of off the top of my head. But remember how a factorial is like if we if we get the number five, five factorials, one times two times three times four times five, or you know, five times four times three times two times one, right? And so I think to get that, we just need to do like a for loop. So what if we like make a for loop where we go up to whatever number what is it called what is it called um n is and then within that loop within that loop we're gonna say what if, you know, I don't know if this is something that needs to be done, but this is, again, just what I'm thinking of off the top of my head. What if we make an empty variable? And then we can say in the loop, um, take, like, you know, the problem with this is it's not an array. 
unless we make the empty array and then we can still go up to whatever number n is we can say take array i oops i can type i take array i plus equals maybe maybe and then return now if this doesn't work again it's okay we're figuring shit out let's see if it does so let array equals empty array then we can say four i equals zero i is less than or equal to n I don't think we need to do dot length. And then we can say array i plus equals. And then we can say return. We don't want, you know what? We don't want to return an array. Hmm. Can I say this? Is that a thing? Maybe. I'm feeling skeptical of my abilities. But, oh dear God. But that's okay. We're just figuring shit out right there. It doesn't like it. Alright. Unexpected token. Doesn't like this. Did I fuck up with our, uh... No. Oh, no. It's giving me a little squiggle. It's like, dear God, you fucked up. Now, why, though? I don't see what's wrong with this. Because here's its friend. TypeScript. This is not TypeScript. Clearly it's enough to break it. Hmm. It won't, it won't be any, yeah, okay. I just wanted to see if that would be a thing. If we say return, will it? Hmm. Hmm. I still can't look at chat for a minute or I would be looking over there right now. It's fine. Let me just try and figure this out with myself, I guess. It's like the hardest five minutes of focusing I've ever had to do in my life. <laughs> um. All right, I can look now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what everyone's saying. Hey, NYT Snipe. Um, thanks for the follow. Hey, Mary. Thank you for the follow. Hey, Jing Jong. Thank you for the follow. Can't parse int an array. The array isn't adding anything. Isn't it adding? Can I say that this? Or would I have to say that? Well, I got rid of the problem there. Okay, so I didn't fix much, but it did stop it from doing an error shit. Use a recursive method. I know we can do it recursively. We're just doing it iteratively for now, just because that's what I could think of. Great, Scotty. <laughs> Array parsent i. Why would I have to say parsent i? Because i wouldn't already be an integer. 
Oh, you know what? I totally, you're right. You're right, Hazel, but I swear that's what I was trying to do here. And then I didn't. So, what this is doing right now, is it's saying zero, put it in an array. But if we, it's not a thing, is it? How do we add this? How do we sum this? This is hard for me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> array dot push. You push it to an array. You have to push it to an array. Would we have to have both of these? No, this doesn't make sense. Thank you, thank you. Ray I so array plus N. But why would we do N? Because we're trying to use I. Aren't we? Why not just sum? I'm trying to do that, Kabuka. <laughs> that is what I am attempting to do here. You want to have a total number to store your running total. Then multiply it by N. Oh my god, you multiply it. Oh, okay. Be nice to yourself, it's fine. <laughs> Issue the problem again, sure. I will do you one better i will share it with you and you reduce the array with multiplication interesting don't need the array i was doing something like sort of similar i feel like but so like because i made an empty i initially went empty variable right right so if we oh you know i literally said push hi i'm brufio i know how to code <laughs> anyway so we were saying, but we can't use a for loop in that case if we don't use an array. That was the whole problem. Hey, Antosha, what's up? Right? Or we can use a for loop. Wait, and a for loop isn't explicitly with arrays. What is my brain doing? Quien sabe? Well, well, it's nice to see you here, Antosha. You're also welcome to do that, but it's always nice to have you here. We're trying to stream earlier today, so people who can't normally make it to stream could make it to like a live stream. So, um, what is my brain doing? What is my brain doing? It is the morning time, in my defense. True snake, snake from State Farm. <laughs> you know, I didn't watch uh, that 100 devs class. It sounds like, I hadn't heard of this before. Y'all are making an MVC presentation? Morning time is the worst time. Okay. So, remember what we have to do. We didn't... So, we have to make it so... <sighs> I 
We're grabbing each number up to n, including n. And we are multiplying them all together and adding them to sum. n times Shh, go ahead. i I'm pretty sure that, that is not no why not reduce because I don't know what my brain is doing I'll be honest with you my brain is just it's it's doing something for sure but <laughs> Hazel, why did you suggest we do algorithms when it's like 10 a.m. for me? I feel like lame saying that because that's really not that early. But I do wake up really late normally. Not 10 a.m. But I've never tried to do algorithms this early in the day before. Rufio's brain. What the fuck? Rufio's brain. What the fuck? What if we say? Um, sound, sound, a push. I times I minus one. That's not a thing, I think. No, it's not. We did do prep. We did. I'm just still struggling. I've totally done factorials like over five times, but I haven't done it in a while. As long as the work gets done and that is the problem because we are still here and now my brain is still doing stuff. Sometimes equals I. Oh, we don't even have any. Whatever they're called. Whatever they're called. Hello? Did we? My god, we never made any examples. Oh my god. Reveal. Reveal. Okay, wait a second. Factorial. And we're gonna say two. And we're gonna say two. And then I guess we did not do full prep. My brain, I don't know where my brain went. I don't know where my brain is. Three? That's six. And four? Twenty-four? See you, Jason. Have a good rest of your day. Some should start at one, though. Oh, you're right. You're totally right. Oh, you know what? I was like, why doesn't this say the right thing? It's because I kept doing it in a different thing. And what else did we change here? Just this. Doo -doo -doo. But what we really came here for was this. So that's cool. <laughs> Success. <laughs> you want to change I equal to one? Hmm. Interesting. I love my life. Cause this is, oh, this is still, wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What's happening in my brain right now, but it's it's going Spanish. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm saying this right, because I always get confused with conjugation, but lo hicimos, right? We've done it. <laughs> we only struggle forever and ever. I have not taken a break. 
I got rid of my Pomodoro timer and then I stopped like doing the whole break thing and that wasn't like a good move necessarily on my part but like we could take a break right after this because we did just do this. Um, and Tasha, you can see all the music above the chat. So thank you. We're good with numbers until Code Wars came along. It was so much easier for just school. <laughs> gracias, la gracias. Fue muy difícil y no, no sé por qué. <laughs> hey, Matthews. Thanks for follow. Okay, I want to push this. And then, um, and we'll take a break. And then we're going to TypeScript this shit. And uh, we're going to push that. And then we'll see. Because I only have like an hour left. I don't know if we can do another one in an hour because it took me forever to do this one. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. Kids, status. Kit, add CC2022779. And then we're going to say git commit dash estate equals 2022-07-08. We're doing it. Hold up. Hold up. Scratch that. Scratch that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We are going to do this. We can make this. Two, two pushes. Git status. Git add. Yeah, CC twenty twenty two seven nine. Git commit dash dash date equals twenty twenty two zero seven zero eight. Dash m add unsolved coding challenge for seven eight nine. 22 coding challenge. Get push. And then. And then we're going to say get status again. Make sure everything's good. Get add CC 2022 7 9. Wow, did I just get a, oh my god, and I wasn't even looking. Yo, study time, thank you for the raid. 620, that's wild. Fucking like, welcome everyone. And I can't believe I was like deliberately ignoring chat for that moment. The only time I'm responsible, I swear to god. I swear to god. <laughs> You know what the moral of this story is? Do not focus. <laughs> That's awesome, study time. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, my name is Rufio. I am a streamer for the 100 Dev Stream Team, which sounds like y'all are following. Um, I was in the first cohort, so I'm not actively following the classes. But I am doing coding challenges today. Here we like we'll have a lot of like guest streamers, mostly senior devs who know what they're talking about. We like to cover new topics that I don't understand, like TypeScript or last week we did Agile with Alexander Six. What else do we do here? I talk a lot. I'm a little self deprecating, but we're working on it. Are we though? Are we working on it though? Yeah, we're doing we're doing mostly JavaScript here. We started learning TypeScript just a little bit. Am I following Free Code Camp? No. Oh yeah, there are lots of birds. Yeah, we love parrots. If you couldn't tell by the follow, whatever it's called, GIF, 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 GIF. Wow, wow, wow. That's why we don't focus here. What are we making? We're just doing a coding challenge. This is the specific coding challenge we're doing. We were just back pushing it um, because I am not consistent, but we were pushing it to like a rat right here. So if you look that at that, 
it will show that we did it. Woohoo! Wow! Wow! You right, Alex. You right. Okay, hold up. Thank you for all the follows. I appreciate it. There are too many of you following for me to say each of you by name, so just know that I appreciate it. For those of you who were hanging out with me before, make sure you check out Study Time. We appreciate the raid. That was really nice of you. I appreciate it. Um, and I and I hope y'all had a good time. What were you like doing? What were you studying? I've I've dropped in on your streams before Study Time. I know it's like mostly like co-working, right? Have I played Life is Strange? No. My accent reminds you a lot of Max. You know, people have talked about my accent before, and I'm still not sure what it is. I think we might be talking about the intonation of my voice, because it's kind of monotone. Says Rufio as her voice rises into really high octaves. Seriously, such a day for rates. Yeah, so lots of green squares just because I like... I like I like checking off boxes and it makes me feel accomplished. So Oh, we also talk about mental health, yeah. We do that too. Anyway, so <laughs> yep. I think it's the intonation. Well thank you. It's true, Alex. I really do like checking off boxes. It gives me, like, a sense of fulfillment in life. Also, Alex, remember how you brought up Obsidian last week? Guess who started using Obsidian last week? It's me. I started... I... I... Me. And I have a checklist in it. My god, I'm fantastic. I have a brilliant, posh English accent that also mixes with Australian... <laughs> Love that for us. We do, Alex. I met some Australians yesterday at a lake, and I swear I I can distinguish accents. I absolutely thought they were from the UK, and then they're like, "You're from Australia," and I was like, "Oh my god!" They're like, "We want to see a moose." They hadn't seen a moose, and then ironically. We saw a moose, like, right after that, and I felt so bad. And you know how to say moose in American Sign Language? You have to be, like, quiet around them, so I figured out how to say it like this. <laughs> Do you have something new, Peter? I should have. Alright, we were pushing this. Pushing what? Our mental capacities. It's really early in the morning. All right, so we're doing git add this file and we're gonna say git commit dash dash date. For those of you who don't know, this is how you backdate git commits. 2022 07 09, I think, yeah. And then we do dash m for the message and we say add solution to code or hmm, seven nine or seven dash nine. Coding challenge. And we say that, and you can see it did it, and we say git push. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And then if we look again. My god, we're fantastic! Hi, Dan. Welcome. Welcome. We just got raided by study time. <laughs> And there's so many people here, and we appreciate it, and we love having them. Um, Xenomorph, Obsidian is like a notes-taking app. Hey, Dan, I started using Obsidian last week. I can, here, let me see if I can show you. It's supposed to be... Okay, like, yeah, note-taking, and you can customize it a lot. I totally picked my own theme, and it's amazing. And you probably can't see it that well. But like, I like to have like a Kanban. Ha! <laughs> Who learned Agile last week? It was me. For every day. And then I can move it over and then I'm checking shit off. So you can see I have it for like all these days, you know. 
And then I guess like the selling point is that you can like tag like files and see where they connect or like, yeah. So I have like people and I have like the daily stuffs and I have stream stuff and I have job hunt stuff and I just, again, I just barely started using it, but I like it so far and I like the colors I picked. So is that Kanban a plugin? Yes. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess I can move this over because I did decide what to stream. I am streaming right now. I never use the doing one, I'll be honest with you. We must nerd over organizing second brain notes. Gavin was supposed to become scrum certified in college, but was in the hospital. Woof, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, wow, dark theme for dark Rufio. I like it too. I like, I picked all of these colors, y'all. And I tried to make it as like colorful as possible. Oh, that's not colorful literally at all. Um, let's see who I can like show on stream. Fidelity, you see, I've been doing a lot with Fidelity and you can see that so much color. Wow, 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 notes, 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 no, notes, notes. But if we look like this and use this markdown, you see all the colors I have. And they're all fantastic and excellent taste. I know. Thank you. I tried to make it colorful, but also not murderous to your eyes. So anyway, that's Obsidian. Heading colors, you did not know you needed this. Yeah, it's really great. It's really great. I wanted to do it Mono Kai, and then Mono Kai was actually kind of lame, even though that's what I use in VS Code, but. Anyway. <sighs> so. So. Oh, we were gonna TypeScript it. That's what we were gonna do. So I was thinking when we do a TypeScript, we should just add like another, like um, whatever it's called, like another file, but like app.ts. And, and let's grab this and let's bring it over here. And then let's make this TypeScript type safe. So we want this to return a number, right? I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking that is the case. Number again. Probably. Is that all? We probably should say some should be a number too. Yeah? Yeah? We'll have to do like a stream on Obsidian and things like that. Why is this giving me squigglies? Duplicate function implementation. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean, really, though? N, any? But we told N to be number. Why is it saying any? Well, maybe we'll do that, Hazel. I'll show you how I customized how it looked. I'll probably have to learn more about it so I can tell you more about it. I learned about it from um, Dan and, and Alex, both of whom are in chat right now. But actually y'all, like what's wrong with this? Why is it squiggling? The function name factorial probably already exists in language. Oh. Yeah. What do we say? Fack. Oh, fack. Right. Well, that looks like it worked. Is this, does this look like good um, TypeScript? Alternative factorial. Dark factorial? Yes, I'm thinking yes. <laughs> Factorial 2. Whenever we have an alt, it's always dark. 
Like we've had Peter Boyer on here, and we we talk about Dark Peter. Apparently, Dark Rufio's a thing. So you might need to initialize the loop variable in the for statement. What does it? What do you mean by that? Rufio factorial, factorial two electric booga boogaloo. <laughs> These are great, great naming. Oh, you know what? It does have literally squiggles everywhere. Yeah, what does that mean? That I equals one inside, but it is. Wait, it is inside, I thought. Proof factorial, yes. Okay, my foot is cold. If we do this, wait a second. Oh, I need the lead. <laughs> Why do I always do that? Always do. Okay. It loved it. It loved it. Do I do const or let? I really need to figure out the difference. I'll be honest with you. Didn't use recursion for this code wars kata. Did you miss the point? No, I don't think you did. There is a recursion way to do it, and we could do it. I just don't remember how to do it. How many times do you think we can say that word? That phrase. Okay, beautiful, my god. Drink. Thanks for saying. I must build it myself, so that's cool. Oh my gosh, you redeemed the sound alert? <gasps> I thought you redeemed the actual redeemed. Well, I just got pranked. I just got pranked. <laughs> Love that for us. I did get got. That is true. That's my own bad though. I added a drank redemption and a drank sound. Drank. Yeah, you so rad. Okay, so it was the 10th, I believe, that we could push this to. Get status, get add. CC 2022-7-9, and I don't know if we need to do the forge slash, but since it's another file, maybe, get, get, uh, commit, date equals 2022-0710, close quotation marks, dash M, add type script solution to 7922 coding challenge. Y'all, we're almost in 2023. <laughs> Get push. Oh my god, we did it! We did it! You're halfway to a custom postcard! That's great. I'm a little relieved you're not there yet. Uh, you weren't here when we talked about this, Dan, but I was making p custom postcards yesterday and my hand started hurting and then I ignored it and my hand, ow, it hurts today. Is this my new stream time? So I don't know, maybe? What do we think of this stream time? It did work, Prime. Yeah, so this was our solution. Mm, I think. Success has ravaged my coding hand. <laughs> I wish I could show you all these custom cards, but I don't like to show them until the person who gets them shows them because I don't want to like, like it's theirs at that point. And I don't want to steal anybody's thunder. You know what I'm saying? Streaming now at least once a week is great for folks who can't get to later times. I do think it's good. Um, I guess like it would be like would we stream earlier like today or later when I normally stream today and I think I could do earlier I just need to make sure I always have therapy on Monday so I need to make sure that I schedule my therapy appropriately you know like it needs to like have a space and like enough time so it will be like a little shorter it'll only be like a two hours and 40 minutes or something like that stream today instead of a five hour one which you know i guess we don't need five hour streams but i need to get the edge cases woof it's 
very generous perspective since I am the artist. Yeah, but I just, I want like the first time y'all to see the cards to be when you get them. I don't want you to see them beforehand so that, I don't know, you can have like a private moment and thinking how awesome it is. I don't know if it'll actually be awesome. I'll be honest with you. But like, you know, you know. Why not trial it out this time and see how I feel? Yeah, true, true. Or a cat with bird tattoo. Whoa. Cat within a bird cage would be fun. That would be interesting. What's really cool about all y'all is that you come up with all these things that I just never, like, even thought to draw. And so it's, like, it's it's cool. Like, I wouldn't have ever thought of a cat in a bird cage. Like, if y'all are wondering what we're talking about in terms of art, I make these arts. And you can redeem them on the stream. Um, not all of them are available. You can see if they're available by, like, hovering. It shouldn't look this way. It only looks this way because I have it inverted color-wise. But it normally looks a little better than that. Um, we made this on stream, though, this website. And I try and put all of the arts on here. If they, You can get one I've already made or you can get a custom one. Um, and we've been talking about the custom ones. I make these arts. Can I have one art, please? These aren't NFTs, no. Thanks, Greta. That's very nice of you. It's a win-win situation because I like drawing these. Um, and apparently y'all appreciate them. And that's like, makes me feel very happy because no one ever, like, has before. So. <laughs> when you get a, po a custom postcard, you want it to be a postcard of this postcards website. Postcardception? You own one of these? Wait, which one do you have, Intelligence? Thanks, Intelligence. I've been thinking, I was thinking when I was trying to fall asleep last night, that I might break the work up into two sections of what's available and what isn't. But I haven't done it yet. Yeah, this cockatiel one was a custom one for, your, for crispy nuggets. The site isn't working for y'all? This is the site. Seeing your postcard on the desk in the morning is great motivation boost. I'm glad. Available, unavailable would be helpful. They do say it if you look, if you hover over it. Um, but I don't know if people hover over them, you know. Oh, it's not on the site. Which one was it? Intelligence? Was it a custom one? Because that means I probably was waiting till I saw you like post it or something like that. Which you don't have to. Um, it looks like the one with the hand on it. Oh, you got the hope one? Oh, really? I forgot I like sent that one. This one? It's like this one? Wait a second. But it's not that one? Which one is it? Hey, Ferrovax. I finished your card yesterday. Sort them by ID and push the available ones on the top? Maybe. I was just gonna, like, manually do it, but... It's really hard to draw hands. Thank you. What I had, I was like, Sister, can you hold your hand like that? And then she did. <laughs> and then I drew that. Because I have to see them. Ruby making so many arts, she can't keep track. True, actually, though. Like, there do be a lot. You know, I haven't put the Major Mitchell cockatoo. I made a, a cockatoo one. Did y'all see it? It's kind of small in the corner here, but I haven't put that one up there. I probably should. All right. Oh, wait, this isn't a hand. Yeah, this was... Actually, that's like probably the oldest of all the ones you see. This postcard. You got it in, um, I think a... What's it called? In a giveaway, right? In a raffle? I don't know if I actually have a picture of that one to post. Damn it. If you scan it, let me know. <laughs> Thanks, Lark. You're so OG. You know, I was thinking, y'all, October will be my one-year coding 
or uh, like Twitch streaming coding anniversary and also my second year coding anniversary. So what if we did, I don't know if I can go 24 hours. So what if we did like a super long stream and we did some more giveaways? This is what I've been thinking lately. Like some way to commemorate it. Hey Maui, what's up? Yeah, study time did raid me. That's how I have so many people here. I, didn't, I haven't made it a chat command yet. So I had read the possibility of always going to a conference and you doing live henna. The only problem with that is it would take me a long time. Each of these cards takes me probably four plus hours. So. Great, I think yours took me like eight. <laughs> Woof. It's an awesome idea. You get a bunch of people lined up to pop into the long stream. Oh, true. True. Oh, interesting. Any excuse for a party? I do enjoy the activity. Thank you, Maui. I appreciate it. Yeah, like that, Like I said, it's a win-win situation. Y'all seem to like it, and I like doing it. I have an excuse to, you know? So... <laughs> that's fine grad no 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 problem i i spent forever you know how like in, in napoleon dynamite napoleon talks about like it's like here's this drawing i spent four hours in the shading on your upper lip that's how i feel about the tentacles in your drawing <laughs> it took me like four hours to figure out like how to how i wanted them to like curve no <laughs> don't don't grad don't feel bad it was a fun one to do. Thank you, Jimmy. I did draw all of these, Maui. Do I carve them out? No. Someone redeem a custom of an upper leg. <laughs> you have a code challenge that you wrote? If I want to give it a go? Sure. Yeah, I, I don't do carving. I just do drawing. Like blog prints? Mm. Sure. Sure, pilfer uh, pilfers. Also, thank you all for the follows. I appreciate it. I love all of you being here. A vid. All right. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's written a coding challenge before, so that's pretty cool. Um, wait a second. Let me see what day I want to push it to. Where did my GitHub go? Honey, where are my pants? We could do... Isn't this a cool shape? I'm thinking yes. We could do... This day? April 18th? The goal is to tell you what is locked to the console. Okay, wait a second. We're gonna say April 18th up in here and we're gonna say... Let's see, C 20, 2022 for one aid we're gonna say app.js we're gonna post it do this and then we're gonna push it right now actually get status <laughs> get add cc 2022 for one aid get commit dash dash date equals 2022 zero four one seven sneaky and then we say dash M add unsolved coding challenge for 4 18 2022 coding challenge. Get push. And then we can see it is right there. Hell yeah. Wait a second. I've been coding for almost a year. How is my journey? It has been long and I have not been very consistent. So. 
I feel like honestly that's my biggest selling point is that I'm really shitty at being consistent and coding honestly and so hopefully I can serve as like an example of it's okay to go slowly and to not do all the homework even though like you probably should like hopefully like you can still get a job in tech having done all of that you know still trying to get the job in tech thing but but it's been it's been really long it's been hard but it's been good Where do the code challenge? Ranch Raiders or Betos? I haven't tried either of them. Don't at me. Let me know if you ever need any help, Maui. We can we can try and help on stream, or you can shout me out in Discord or Twitter. That goes for everyone, by the way. Um But I hope I hope you're enjoying it so far. I'm glad, Maui. I cannot, I'm, I, I'm very brutally honest. I have no tact, honestly. That's what I need. When you live in an SLC, you practically lived at Betos. Cafe Rio have eaten a fuck ton. But Betos, I've never, I've driven by it. I don't really eat out, um, because it costs money and I don't have that. What's this coding challenge? Hey, uh, Pilfers, can you share the link again? It's one that Pilfers wrote, actually. You're in Singapore? Wow, 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 I've never been. All right, simple code review challenge. Guess the output, then run it and see what it actually is. Okay, so we're given const age equals 25, const max age equals 20. If the condition fail, oh, if, okay. If the condition fails, run this function, old, if this condition succeeds, run this function, young. Do a check to see if the age is less than or equal to the max age. Need to see if the, if the given age is less than or equal to max age. Return appropriate function. Is this Code Wars? No, this is actually one that Pilfers made. I was I was doing Code Wars, but this is a custom one. In recent months, you learned that it's not a coding marathon, but a mental health marathon too. Gotta take care of yourself. True. Guess whose mental health has sucked for the last month? Me. It has. I have. <laughs> Yay. Love that. Take care of yourself. <laughs> it's easy to read with syntax highlighting. What do you mean? Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, wait a second. I can do that. How about that? Catch me inside. How about that? Catching up sleep on is so great. Health above code. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Thank you all for the follows. I appreciate it. Thanks for being here. Um. Okay, I have to understand what is happening here. So, we are given... Wait a second. These are the two ages we are given. Okay. It's getting mad at me because I'm doing it twice and that is okay. Sometimes your code just screams at you and you just ignore it and Yes. And we want to console log statements based on their truth value if they work so if it does not work log or run run interesting 
if it if it does work run this one do a check to see the age is less than or equal to the max age run the appropriate function wait a second did you just like give me the answer wait a second Oh, wait, you're totally fine. Everyone's at a different, like, level. And it took me, like, a year to understand JavaScript, so. Let's see. You said it a little bit about it before. The goal is to tell you what is logged to the console. The goal is to... Tell what is logged to the console. What? <laughs> Am I just supposed to run it is that what i'm supposed to do oh it's just to read the code and guess what it will output to console read the code and guess what it will output to console okay so we're given age 25 and max age 20. okay and then we're looking at this so we would say basically like 25 it's less than or equal to 20. Is that true? No, bitch, it's not. So it wouldn't run the success function. It would run the fail function and it would say OLD in all caps. You should have it in all caps. <laughs> then after you guess, you run the code and see the actual output. What? 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 Okay. What? Fuck. Wait, why? What? 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 Wait. Why? I swear I logic my way through that one. Age is greater than or equal to max age. And then it said if it. Succeeds. Greater than or equal to max age. What? Can I tell you? Can you tell? Can I tell you what's going on here? What? That's what I was about to ask. You see my brain like trying to like figure out what the fuck is happening here. Keeps in the twenties, be like, I'm so old. Okay, all right, it's all relative, Xenomorph. I'm older than I ever thought I would be. I'm not that old, but I never like thought I would be this old. Sounds like you must understand deep, dark secrets about JavaScript in order to pass a challenge, and those don't tend to make good challenges. Any good technical challenge should have multiple solutions that pros and cons that which one is better. Maybe, but Pilfers wrote it, and we we're just seeing what it was. Remove all blank lines and comments. Don't like this music at all. Life starts at 50. <laughs> Let's challenge more brain teaser. You're also older than I thought you would ever be. You had a gut feeling for years that you would expire in your youth. Turns out you're wrong. It's not that I didn't think I would live this long. It's just that I just... I've always been young, you know? Like, 18 to 22. You know? Like, I've always been a youth. And now I'm officially not a youth. Like, I'm still young. But, like, it's just... I just... I just... 
I'm not old or mature enough to be this old. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna make the editor wider. Why? Hey, Alex. We're trying to figure out this brain teaser from Pilfers. Are all these extra parentheses? I don't know. Hazel never thought they'd live this long either. You haven't been a youth for longer than some of you have been alive. You've been a youth. It's a new youth. How about youths? All these youths. <laughs> Your friend is 60 and says the same thing. We all hate adulting. Y'all are tapping into my existentialism. <laughs> Not bring the age max age line up to the line above it by hitting backspace before it age. Like that? Come on, so. Thanks, Lark. Gracias, ciao. Que vayas bien. Wait, nothing changed. Survivor still standing tall. <laughs> Technically, I can speak some of like three or four languages. Four is a bit. What is it called? Like, that's probably not actually true, but I don't speak anything like that. Well, I would say not even English. Often people in their 60s up into their 100th year and a change of view about what it means to be young. Oh, interesting. So success function is an anonymous function that isn't suffixed with a semicolon. JavaScript lets you put white space and comments between code segments. What is an anonymous function? Why would it need to be suffixed with the semicolon? See ya, Dan. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you everyone for the follows. I appreciate you. So what's happening is success function Wait. Yeah, but I have that written here. The semicolon delimits the end of the code statement. What's what semicolon? I think I broke it. me equals function this is anonymous function because it has no name oh anonymous functions don't have names but these have names don't they i fixed it but i don't understand what's happening <laughs> I, I it's saying the exact same thing as it was saying before is it not i swear to god it's saying the exact same thing as it's saying before Yeah, it's just more spaced out. Oops, sorry. Can't feel. Can't log high. What if you have a constant though, homeless? Imagine if coding we get it right without even knowing we did. But pilfers, nothing changed. It looks exactly the same as it did before, just less spaced out. I don't understand what changed here. <laughs> nothing changed. Just spaces. Read this. Oh, fuck. I'm really bad at reading documentation. Or even Stack Overflow. And you'd want to use this function, bunch of code over... 
when would you want a function? What? Variable scoping variables declared in the self-executing function. What? My god, my brain. Okay. Explain it like in five. I don't get it. Why don't I get it? Ouch. Okay. Pilfers, what you're saying is as soon as this is just fucking like written, it runs. As the same with this one. So we don't even give a fuck about this, right? Oh no, we do give a fuck. Oh, it means X returns one, two, three, so just return old and return young. Scoping functions is your weakest area of programming. Also, I hate reading docs. <laughs> I really need to get better at it. I just. I don't know where my brain goes, but it goes somewhere far, far away. The age max age is the parameter for the success function. Right. Definitely what? Material. <laughs> But we haven't put a function in front of it. Unless putting on this line does that. Since it returns undefined, it fails the ternary. There's in cost fail function. Why would it fail? Wait, wait, why would it return undefined? <laughs> I can do some programming, but, uh, I still consider myself very much a beginner. I have to, like, understand something to understand something. I know that seems like a redundant statement, but, like, really. I have a huge hole in the bottom of my sock, but I'm running out of socks, so I need to keep wearing this sock that has a big hole in the bottom of the sock. Important things. Thank you all for the follows. Appreciate. Thanks. Appreciate. You contacted me. Does anyone remember that? Uh, it's a TikTok. I don't know. Costco has the best deals on socks. You know, my mom goes there. That might actually be a good idea. Hmm. Costco. Ooh. I'm hungry, but I ate breakfast. What's up with that? I guess it is 11. It's been like two hours. But it's only been two hours. What are y'all up to after stream today? I'm going to therapy. And mailing some mails. And I might try and learn React. Because you remember when we tried to do React on stream last stream and, and, and everyone was like... <laughs> you need to know what props are. Why are you using the wrong next to yes? My god. And I was like, y'all, y'all. Remember that? Got a importing job. <laughs> so much fun. Look, I just made an accordion thing. Nice. Thank you. I'm an artist. It's coming apart. Wow, wow, wow. Thanks, Deep. You also probably have a nice smile. 
Success function is being set as the return value of the self executing function. Which is undefined. Unless you end your code statements with semicolons, you can put comments in white space anywhere you want. So you've fuscated the code through misdirection. Why can you put this on the end here? How is that a thing? Because it's not in the function. Stop it. It passes a parameter to it, like essentially like a, like your calling the function. This might have been the wrong person to test this on. <laughs> My brain is the best. Love it. Well, I have to be nice locating it. My pilfers made it. Oh, five words. <laughs> I'm thinking it's chapstick time. Thank you, yes. So I'm not going to take a break now, but we need to take breaks in the future, y'all. <laughs> Remind me, please. Also, I said this at the beginning of the stream. If you ever see anything, you're like, damn, I should clip that. Please do. And then I can use the clips or something. I don't know. Maybe. On the YouTube. So I don't know. I'm not actually that competent at doing anything besides, like, literally just streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Hydrate? Nobody, nobody redeemed it, Maui. Okay, all right. What's your art prints? Wait. What about the art prints? I swear I have like, sometimes I just like, on stream I feel like I get like, comp oh, you're talking about me drawing. I get like so distracted and I forget exactly what I just said. Sup, Red Dark Tube? Um, 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 con success function param one, console log young param one. Woohoo! I got chill. I'm yawning now, but I won't be able to sleep at 12 a.m. I'm good. I'm good. It should become more clear when I execute this. Pram one. Catalog young pram one. Somehow this is pram one. I'm not sure how that's a thing. But it's not true. But it also logs both of them. Why do you need this at the end at all? Why do you need that? If you understand this correctly, we self-execute the success function by passing it to the parameter age. It's greater than max age. 
which is equivalent to false success function false returns undefined so it fails so it returns fail function so are we saying that regardless of line this line um this just is like i just self-executed bitch I don't feel bad, I just feel confused. <laughs> uh, I don't feel bad about programming anymore. I've been far too incompetent for far too long to feel bad. It only self-executes with the parameter hello world. Why? 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 because it has a parameter are you saying because it has a parameter and somehow that hello world is related then it it says young and then the rest of the thing happens i guess i just don't understand self-executing functions my god why did it get so cold <laughs> I have no jacket. I'm just a cold girl. Nobody loves me. Not log. Wait. Not log. Forward slash n. Hello. I didn't like it. Oh, oh, I get you. Yep, I did just try and write that. I understand this. That makes sense to me. Joshua has a guess when the end of a line is actually the end of a statement. Sometimes it guesses. Weird. That just added a space. Yeah, I see. Makes sense, I guess. That's what's happening with the self-executing function below. But this isn't a console log. Why does this syntax work? You're just like putting another parenthesis shit right next to it. Is that what we wanted? I don't know if I like, like, any of this music. Whatever, it's fine. Pram one. Monster log. Young. Pram one is a function. Console log is a function? <laughs> <laughs> Both that. It's too early for this. <laughs> I say that. It's like eleven twenty. It's not it's not it's not bad. Then again, I do never stream this early. I never do stream this early. I can say English. I 
These are all really nice, like, it's nice music, huh? <laughs> Did I tell you I'm definitely a singer? Can you tell? I think you probably can. Take a five minutes break. Can't do it. We have to wrap up stream really quick so I can go to therapy. I'm looking for something to read right now. Ain't nothing but heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. I never want to hear you say. I want to make this like a, like a, like a coding song. The, the code don't work that way. It's back shape, boys. Timbo do, bo tim tim bo. How many people does Tim have watching? Oh, but Tim has so many people watching. I like to stream or do people who don't have so many people watching. Seven hours, bruh. Anniversary stream? Wait, oh, my anniversary stream? Lol. Hope everything is okay. That's what I have to say. <laughs> Mental health has been better, but you know, it's all right. I, I mean, we could raid Tim. You can't even see what's on Tim's screens. It's too far away. Sorry, I was just to look at this thing. Cost example, cost log example. One. Oh, we were supposed to look at this in the thing. All right, we're gonna look at this and then we gotta wrap up stream because I gotta go to therapy and also the bathroom. <laughs> A rural games. A rural. A rural. <laughs> Do you want them charging if you're late? Oh yeah, that's true, huh? I was like, what do you mean? Example, console lock, example. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Example two. Oh, I see. This makes sense to my brain. Hmm. Well, it's definitely had me think a lot, that's for sure. I do oral games. Let's see if, like, there's anyone really baby. Too. Because <gasps> this person, Moscow Bish, does programming rest and depression. <laughs> I relate to that. <gasps> oh. I should say, I unfortunately relate to that. They're a VTuber with a crab. Oh my god, it's very small. Should we raid them, or do we want to raid some of the bigger ones y'all were dropping? I don't think my um, person charges me if I'm late. I think I just don't get as much time, and I need the time, because my brain is fucked up. Write a smaller one. <sighs> okay. Let's read Moscow Bitch because they only have one person watching them. Um, and it's so hard to get people to watch you when you are a beginner streamer. And they have depression and I have depression and they're also software developing and I'm also software developing. So it works out, right?
Is it Moscow or Moscow? Moscow. Okay. Thank you for being here. We will be back on Thursday, though it will be later in the day. Let me know if you liked this time, if you prefer it over my normal time today. We can try and do it more consistently early in the morning for, I guess, me. Um, thanks for being here. It was nice to see a bunch of new faces and old faces. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a fantastic Monday or Tuesday, depending on what day it is for you. <laughs> try out betos, maybe. Will. What do you do when you raid? You just go to their channel and spread the love. Give them, like, a follow. Something like that. Like, say hi in their chat. Thanks for the challenge, Pilfers. Alright, let's go. See ya. I appreciate you. Peace.